Hey, friends, Wayne over here at the Ram Man Inc. Don't forget the ink. Hey, I just got done prepping up this kit for this Jeep. It's a 2018 Jeep. Uh, this is actually going on Kate's Jeep. So, here's our stub shafts. They've been splined. 27 spline profile back from the 90s Ford and Mazda. Here's your lockers. Here's your Timken hubs with your needle bearings installed. I was checking the shafts. Locking hubs is the only thing that disconnects everything and so now there's nothing's rotating anymore. So now you have a true two-wheel drive vehicle. You see that? The shaft doesn't turn. In order to have lock and hubs, you have to have splines on the end, not splines on the shaft splines on the end, not splines on the shaft. Body. Bearings, splines. Bearings, splines. Fabric one, bearing, splines. Bearings over here. There you go. So, what's it going on? I'm kind of excited. It's going on Kate's new Jeep. Rubicon, low ratio transfer case, rock crawler, new process 241. Has a lot of resemblance to Old Yeller. See Old Yeller spinning his 38s? Case buggy's got a blower on it. Yes, it's got a supercharger on it. Four. 120 horse Jeep. Yeah. That female's driving around in 420 horse, basically SRTA Jeep. And now we're going to put hubs on it. This beautiful. Shit, this is the first day of July. I didn't even know when it was. People, if you own a four-wheel drive, be smart. Put you some locking hubs on it. Quit dragging around that front axle and stuff every time you drive. Think about it. You're dragging that shit around every single time you get in your vehicle. It's kind of like pulling a little trailer behind you all the time. Completely, completely a waste of energy, resources, and just flat out, just tearing shit the fuck up. God bless you. God bless America. And happy jeeping. That's why these hubs get wore out, because that shaft's in there moving every time you turn that steering wheel. That's why. Ain't the design. It's called simple physics. 